Good evening and welcome to Stars in Their Eyes. Over the next six weeks, 25 new star guests will walk through those famous doors and sing live. All of them share a very special talent to look and sound exactly like their favourite singing stars. And one of them is destined to become our series winner. As always, our studio audience will vote each week to decide just who will go through to the grand final. And there's going to be some tough competition, I'll tell you, but it's going to be a great six weeks. So let's get straight on and meet our very first star guest. A lovely young lady, originally from Ireland, now living in London, Catherine Nevin. <laughs> Ah, you're great, Catherine. Welcome to Stars in Their Eyes. Thank you. Why don't you play the game at home and see if you can guess just who Catherine is going to be? I'll leave that with you. Obviously, the telephone plays a, a major role in your life. It does indeed, yeah. I sell telephone systems over the phone. So. Uh-huh. But it, all that might be going to change, mightn't it? It might indeed. I'm hoping to give up the telephone sales job and uh, further my career in music. Quite right. Quite right. And, and this could be a very good start. Yeah, indeed it could. Yes. Now, apart from music, you're interested in marathon running and water skiing, foreign travel, all that kind of thing. Tell them about the time you went to Egypt with your boyfriend. All right. Well, um, yes, yeah, so I did have a bit of a, a dilemma in Egypt. I went to Egypt to... Um, to see the pyramids, etc. And uh, I was with my boyfriend, and while we were on our way out, there was a lot of uh, Arab people around and peddlers, and so he was offered 200 camels for my, uh, for my hand, so... <laughs> he didn't be. take it. No, he didn't he? No, no. Oh, well, a wise man, a wise well, he, man. He said he would have taken a timeshare, but they didn't have any available, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, you've been a fan of the person you're going to be for 10 I years have now. I have yeah. indeed. Have you any idea at home? Have you worked it out? Tell them. Tonight, Leslie, I'm going to be Madonna. Yes, of course, Madonna. Until stars in their eyes rang, she worked in telephone sales. But tonight, singing live, Catherine Nevin is Madonna. <laughs> Thank you. 
sensational. Ireland's Catherine Nevin expressing herself as Madonna and a fantastic start to our new series. Now let's meet star guest number two, a father of five from Cardiff, Bernard Jones. <laughs> You're obviously concerned with the manufacture of microwave ovens. What exactly do you do? Well, basically, I, uh, I make the microwave oven um, just assemble yeah. the basic part of it. That's right. Yeah, and then it goes on to somebody else. That's right. On, on the old production line. Yeah. On the old production yeah. line, right. That's not all you've done, though, is it? No, no. I've worked as an ambulance driver, yeah. a bus driver, etc. And you started singing at a very early age? Yes, in school, in a junior yeah. school. And you, yeah. you actually practiced the person you're going to be in the school did. playground, didn't you? Yes, and the toilet. And the what? The toilet. <laughs> Why the toilet? the toilet? Pardon me? Create, a, create acoustics. <laughs> of course they are. Yeah. And who is that person? Tonight, Leslie, I'm going to be Frank Highfield. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Frank Highfield. By day, he assembles microwave ovens, but tonight, singing live, Welshman Bernard Jones is a Frank Highfield. <laughs> Wonderful. Bernard Jones singing live as Frank Highfield. And I remember you originally a hit in 1962. And that is the year that I first introduced Frank Highfield on Cracker Jack. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a memory. And now from Manchester, here's our third star guest. He's a civil servant and careers officer. Please welcome Peter Jackson. <laughs> You're married to Julie. I'm married to Julie, Leslie. Who is a nursery nurse, and you've got two children, right? I've got two daughters, Kerry and Joanne, Leslie. Very good. And uh, a careers officer mm. working in the Department of Employment. What right. exactly does that entail? Well, that basically entails helping people without jobs to find jobs and yeah. to advise them about the benefits. You've actually met the person that you're going to be for us tonight before, haven't you? That's correct. In 1987, this person uh, did a gig in Manchester, yes. and I met him at an after-gig party and actually sang a song with him. Great. And now you're going to sing by yourself as him, who are you going to be? Well, tonight, Leslie, I'm going to be David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> David Bowie. From so 9 to 5, he's a careers officer, but tonight, singing live, Peter Jackson is David Bowie. <laughs> Let's dance. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Peter Jackson and David Bowie. Great. Well, already tonight we've met a sales telephonist from London, a machine operator from Cardiff, and a Manchester careers officer. Who will be next? Find out after the break. <laughs> back to stars in their eyes. Let's find out who's waiting in the wings to become star guest number four. She's a sales assistant from Leamington Spa, Sharon Woodward. <laughs> Who are you going to be for us tonight, as if we didn't know? Tonight, Leslie, I'm going to be Cilla Black. Yes. Cilla Black. Until the shot shut this evening, she was a sales assistant. But surprise, surprise, tonight, singing live, Sharon Woodward is Cilla Black. Thank you. 
how splendid she sang with Philip Black. She is, in fact, Sharon Woodward, all the way from Leamington Spa. And our fifth and final star guest is a performing arts student from Walsall in the West Midlands. Let's say hello to Peter Elliott. <laughs> I've got an art student. Is this one of your works? Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. We'll have a look at this. Let me cheat. I've had quite a few offers, actually. Yes, I'll give you an offer. You can't refuse. I'll tell you. Now, a performing art student, of course, means that you don't just uh, paint and draw, do you? No, I'm a student at the Warsaw Art College. I'm studying for a diploma in the performing arts, yes. which is acting, singing, stage management. The um, lot. Yeah. And, of course, it's not your idea to be on this show at all, is it? It's one of your sisters. And you're one of 13 children, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. My sister, Beverly, yeah. and my niece, Latoya, were the ones who wrote in. Very good. Uh, are you glad they did? That's I the point. Am, uh, yes, I am. Good. Well, Peter, tell us who you're going to be. Tonight, Leslie, I'm going to be Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. My dear college student, but tonight, singing live, Peter Elliott is Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Peter Elliott, who just called to say I love you, is Stevie Wonder. Absolutely tremendous. Well, tonight we've met five great star guests. And remember, they all sang live. No miming, no cheating. And now it's crunch time for the studio audience and decision time for you at home. As usual, every member of the Stars in Their Eyes audience is directly linked to our computer, which will analyse the votes cast and give us the result. Well, will you agree with their decision? I wonder. It's a tough choice because they must choose just one winner from Madonna, Frank Ifield, David Bowie, Scylla Black, and Stevie Wonder. They're waiting backstage. 
The audience is ready. Cast your votes now. And the winner is Stevie Wonder! Now, how do you feel? I'm not too good with words, but... I... Great. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Don't worry. That's it for this week, but join us again next Saturday for five more fabulous star guests. But tonight, quite rightly, belongs to performing arts student Peter Elliott. Good night. Another.